Hello everybody, it's Kree Rama, and I'm really excited to show you this mini journal that I made. I love her so much. Uh, before I jump into this though, I just wanted to show some of the book pages that I used. I, well, this is a very old dictionary. I used some pages from this. And then I had this English woman's garden book. It has some beautiful pages and illustrations in it and nice thick pages. And then this one is a gardening, vintage gardening encyclopedia. I used some of these pages. And of course, I had to use some Edith Holden pages. So, let's get into the good stuff. Let's see, so she is, she is three inches, not including all the stuff hanging out here. Um, the cover anyway, it's three inches by four inches. And the spine is about an inch and I have two signatures in here and they are sewn in with wax thread so they're nice and sturdy. This little lady is definitely nice and sturdy and although a mini, a mini journal, she is not lacking in anything. I filled her with all kinds of goodies. So we've got our little dangle here and this is just a ball pin in a grommet, so you could take it out if you don't want it to be there. Well, we've got that. I put the page protectors, the corner protectors on the front and the back corners to make sure that's nice and protected. And then I got the, this is a leaf that I decoupaged, uh, making some botanical ephemera, so I kind of went crazy making it. This is one of them. Some layers of lace underneath. So let's go to the first page here. And I'm gonna see if I can just scroll in. Okay. So, got a little envelope here with some goodies in it. And let's see if you can really see here, that's a leaf that I decoupaged. I actually did this on the front and the back cover. And got a wax seal here. And then this page is one of the book pages that I showed you. Start out here. So here we've got a pocket and some Tim Holtz paper and a little bird. And some eco dye paper with some die cuts. And here I just have a little filigree uh, charm with a bead dangle here. Okay, so this paper, this is linen uh, tea dyed paper and I use this throughout. So lots of journaling spots are this paper. And I did stamp some, you can see a little flower stamp. More of the eco dye paper. The doily here. My little quote, and I made some buttons. It's one of my buttons I made. Did some stamping back here, and then here, see another little filigree with a bead that I sewed down here. It says joy, and if I take these out, you can see just another book page that I put in. And on this side, this is one of the illustrations from the books. They're just so cute. And this is another thing that I decoupaged. I didn't put a ribbon or anything on here to make it like a tag because I thought you can use it however you wish. These are just pressed flowers. They're real and decoupaged onto a music page. And 
And then here I've got a dictionary page. I just put a quote and this is some washi. I just really like the color. I wanted to add some color here. And got a little tuck. There's lots of mini postcards in here as journaling spots. This is also a print of a postcard. It's printed on the linen paper. So it has that really nice texture and feel to it. Okay, and here we've got the journaling spots, some stamping, and then we'll get to our first Edith Holden page. I love this page because the birds help pretty. So I carry that over, I put a little cut out of the, the bird and we got some dangles hanging here. And this was nice because this page, I could cut out this poem um, and it, I mean, this was perfect to fit in the book. So I chose the pages I used based on that. And there's the other side. Okay, more tea dyed pages. Okay, and I'm getting to another little side tuck here. This is a Tim Holtz paper. Got some calling card things in here. And then a butterfly. So this, actually, you can put something in there if you'd like. Dictionary page, it's one of the leaves that's in the, um, on the covers, inside covers. It's another one of the book pages with one of my buttons and some Tim Holtz papers. I just think these are so pretty with the, the birds. Okay, and then here. Part of the book page with some flowers and it says wish and we have some a tag and I put this little bottle and then here is a Tim Holtz paper and I did the wrap around so it's on the other side too and we've got once again the birds and a tag here and then on this side the flower and we have a Emily Dickinson photo. And this opens up a journaling spot here. And we got a doily, some stamping, eco dyed paper, and I left these so you can fold out for some extra space there. more eco dye and then here's some stamping and lots of floral um, postcards and ephemera here and then this has the lace you could also use this as a little tuck underneath here okay and then we're on to the second signature some butterfly paper with a tuck here. And some lace. Okay, so here we've got another, the faux wax seal, some ribbon, and then this is an envelope that's filled with some goodies in here. So this is definitely, it is filled, filled, filled with all kinds of stuff. And here I've got a belly band. This pulls out another postcard. And I want to say, I'm not sure where these came from, but they're really nice thick uh, paper. I don't know if that's one of the Tim Holtz things that I ordered or not. And here I just clip these in. This is definitely one of the Tim Holtz papers. And then we've got the eco dye in the back. Some tea dye papers. Stamping, dictionary page. And then here we have another pocket. 
and I, I did glue, but I sewed along here also. So you're stamping here, these pages. You just have some botanical papers in here. And then put another one of my buttons on this card. We've got the little pocket here with some lace and more of some mini postcards. And then we're coming on the next Edith Holden page. Look how pretty this is. I put the butterfly here in the center. And then we've got the dangles hanging here. The little heart and some die cuts. And then here I just used one of a Tim Holtz uh, mini clip here with a bead on it. Another side here, the pocket. And then we've got our botanical pages. Another little tuck pocket here. Pretty sure this is Tim Holtz. And then this is just clipped on with another mini clip and a, a bead. Little pocket here. Dictionary page with a faux wax seal. We've got our paper, eco dye paper here. So it comes out. These are tickets that are just clipped on. And then we've got butterflies here. Some more stitching with our ribbon. And we're at the end here. Got another little tuck. And you can see the, um, the leaf that I decoupaged on here and my little Handmade with Love by Kristen Romana Jones. And then again on the back, got this closure and this is a belly band here. So that is it. This, um, she is for sale. So if anybody is interested in her, then uh, message me. And I hope you love her as much as I loved creating her. And I've got some other minis on the way. So stay tuned for those. Thanks for watching.